this is a mac video so i will have to wear my glasses because as we know mac writes it's so small i can't read it welcome to this video where i'm only featuring my new mac lipsticks these were sent to me a while ago um i haven't featured them but they are beautiful shades so just hang on they are in different formulas but new mac lipsticks in my collection stay tuned Partner Ganesh and I welcome you back to Joy Geeks. This is where we explore beauty inside out, have loads of fun exploring lipsticks, skin care, some fashion. Overall, I'm having a blast. Please comment blast in the comments if you're having a blast here too. I want to straight jump into the MAC lipsticks that I've got. Right now I'm showing you five of them. You know, these are all these bullets. There are some more powder mattes. some powder uh, liquid mattes i will do a separate video with them so that i can do it formula wise now i am not going to pick these up in any specific order i'm straight going to see which is the first shade i got now this is a shade called dangerous it's a retro matte lipstick looks like an orangish red with a pink tint to it i haven't worn too much of it i really want to show it to you folks Okay this is what the shade looks like it is pretty orange slight fluorescent to it let's wear this and see how this looks you can see the difference in my lip color and the actual shade if you are confused about uh you know different formulas of mac i have a video where i feature different formula satin versus frost versus powder matte you can check that out i will try to add that i don't think i've applied it well enough i kind of lost the patience So dangerous is a retro matte lipstick which is a blazing orange I will say it is a pop of a color it's a little fluorescent very nice for summery beach vacations I think these uh, lipsticks look really nice for that and if you are a retro matte li uh, lipstick fan uh, as a formula you will love this but I have to tell you even though I'm not a retro lipstick fan this is not so drying like it was not so chalky uh, like what I have experienced before so all good the next one i've got is a beautiful shade it's called cream in your coffee it's a cream sheen lipstick and look how beautiful this is i just totally love this i'm just going to show you a swatch i did wear this it's a cream sheen lipstick anybody who has dry lips is going to totally love this i'm going to wear this and show this to you such a beautiful pink nude isn't that lovely i love the name of this uh, as well creme in your coffee beautiful everyday lipstick it's in cream sheen as well So it definitely uh, it's not ultra matte if you are somebody who has very dry lips you will find this so comfortable and i find that in mac even these formulas do last a long time of course nothing like a matte lipstick that really lasts but even these i find matte lipsticks uh, last pretty well so nice for an everyday wear across skin tones of course i am in c42 if you are much darker than me i'm not sure maybe two three shades darker will still look nice uh but uh, it's a beautiful color now the next shade i've got is a shade called new york apple and this is a frost lipstick i'll show you what the shade looks like so frosted typically has this shimmery tinge to it and i will show you what it's watching like this is the shade as you can see you can see the little sheen on it it's not like uh, major chunks of uh, glitter on it but you will uh, definitely have more shimmer than normal lipstick it has a sheen it has a metallic finish to it can you see it has that 
a metallic ring to it for weddings or for occasions maybe this is what it's looking like on my lips this is a cherry shade see when i swatched it in my arm i felt that oh is the pigmentation not enough but actually it is uh, uh, it's pretty good i can't see my lips through it it is a pink cherry pink uh, shimmery lip color is what i would call it yeah cherry pink shimmer on your lips but not chunky shimmer just a metallic finish i know a lot of people who love frosty lipsticks who don't like it all matte I am a huge matte fan. Tell me what is your most favorite finish in the matte formula? Is it matte? I love satin as well. Actually, I love matte satin creme finish. I love all of these in the bullet formula. I want to know which is your favorite uh, formula in this. The next one is a satin lipstick. It's a shade called Rebel. It's a pretty dark wine shade. Okay, this is the shade called Rebel. looks beautiful let's wear it it's a purplish lipstick so i like this color but i think that it's a wee bit uneven in its application so i feel especially in my lower lip you can see some i have really tried to layer it on but some of the sh some of the areas i think looks lighter than the other but honestly this color is a violet lipstick it reminds me of a teacher in school who used to wear a violet lipstick and i had never ever seen anyone wearing a violetish lipstick and uh, it used to look pretty strange on her is it looking strange on me no i love the color but the application doesn't seem to be very even in my opinion but well that is my honest thought on the lipstick if it's uneven it's uneven i'm going to just uh, say it as it is but i love the color hey and before i even forget please make sure you have hit the subscribe button so many of you have told me that you have been watching but uh, uh, have forgot to subscribe so please ensure you're subscribing and if you love these videos please do share it with your friends because when my friend sends me something that i love and i haven't discovered yet i'm always so thankful so let's make uh you know people also happy with the content that if they will really looking for it i'm not asking to spam anyone but let's share the love and the next shade is a super favorite i had really loved it when i got it it's smoke tamand it's their amplified cream lipstick it's a nude it's a beautiful shade let me swatch this if i remember the shade right yes such a beautiful shade this is the color it's a beautiful salmon pink like i said i'm going to wear this and show this to you uh i i didn't uh, pick it up in any specific order but my most favorite shade from these five did turn out almost pretty much in the end i love this it's a peachy corally uh shade and many people uh in my skin tone sometimes don't like the shade but i really like it this is such a beautiful every day salmon pink like i said it's peachish very good for very fair skin girls who don't get uh light colors that will enhance their you know uh, keep it muted for them yet look very pretty very very nice on fair skin girls i love it on my skin too i'm nc42 i don't think it may look very good for beyond two three shades darker than me it may look although you know what uh, it's it's very strange to say that because i have seen uh people internationally really dark skin girls when they do a certain kind of makeup even the lightest color looks bomb on them so uh it's not necessary that it may not fit you if you're darker but uh, if it's in a basic no makeup day uh it may not so check it out uh, there are powder matte lipsticks the range or uh, the the collection that i have Would you like to see that I can make another video of that I have the other uh, retro matte liquid lipstick range that I have with me of MAC I can make another video of just featuring all of them 
for you but uh, i would love it if you can just comment and let me know which is it that you would really like to see so these were the five new lipsticks i want to show you of mac i am so happy to bring them to you i will see you in the next video and i will definitely see you in the comments i love to respond and converse with you on that all right take care bye